superstars are taking that final measure to settle their differences. Four walls to keep you in and everyone else out. This match is brutal. This match is physical. And this match is personal. He's absorbing some tough hits now. It's encouraging to see a superstar withstand the punishment of a steel cage. That said, you want to make sure you dish some out too. Stop in the arm. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Targeted stomp to the arm. <laughs> Meet the backside of an elbow. Big oh. splash in the corner. The advantage now is squarely in his corner. Things are really going his way now. There he goes, right into the corner. Keeping him in position. Here it comes. Oh, bruising attack to the body. Ooh, he retaliates. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Just unloading knees to the body. As we can see, the cage cuts off any easy routes of escape. What's your best strategy for dealing with that? Stand your ground and throw your best shot. The cage is designed to test you as a fighter, and the results are pass-fail only. He's starting to struggle here. This match has been so back and forth. I think it could still go either way. Caught square by the Haymaker. Getting carried off the bad spot to be in. Oh, snake eyes caving in their face. Stop in the leg. Oh, shot right to the kidney. And again. Great win. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Oh, a vigorous impact from the choke slam. Perched up top. And the official calls it clearly they cannot fight any longer. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. Here is your winner, Philip Bryan. The toughness on this player tonight takes a lot of guts to even set foot in the cage, but to win is even more impressive. No doubt about it, support for this guy grows by the second in the estimation of the WWE Universe.